Hello, my name is Mike Hurst from Highland Hill Farm. I'm in charge of growing a door for Alberta spruces. And one of the things we're going to go over today is how to fertilize a dwarf Alberta spruce. This right here is an example of a dwarf Alberta spruce. And before we do any fertilizer, we have to identify what kind of plant this is. This is actually considered to be a determinate plant because it is grown by buds. Buds are preformed stem and leaf parts formed this year to expand and become the new needles of next year. So if you want good growth for next year, you have to fertilize this year for the growth for the new parts to form in the bud. Once the bud is formed, it does not produce any more needles or any more stems. What it does is that when it emerges, all the preformed cell parts only enlarge. So all this new growth from this year was actually formed in the previous year's bud. And during this growth year, it just expanded and got larger. With this knowledge in hand, when we go to fertilize these, we want to fertilize these when the buds are forming or before the buds are forming. So that way the fertilizer gets into the system of the plant and the plant thinks, oh, this is a great growing season. We're going to make lots of extra needles and lots of extra buds for next year. Not really buds, but more or less needles. So when we fertilize this, we fertilize right before the buds are formed. And these guys, the buds form about a little bit late August, somewhere in September. That's when the buds are formed. So we want to fertilize before that. So we do like a June, July, sometime in August, just so the buds get the fertilizer for next year. So when we put the fertilizer down, that affects the system. The system thinks it's a good year. And in turn, in, when it makes its buds, those buds are formed with extra stem parts, which is very important. For other things when fertilizing, you can fertilize for color, but color is not that important when you're thinking about the size and growing for speed. So you can put fertilizer down and green it up, but usually it's more important to hit it right before the buds, like a month before the buds form for next year's growth. Uh, other things that are important besides just fertilizing is making sure you have enough water because water usually has a greater effect on and growth than does fertilizer. Uh, with this information we can go around and fertilize just about any other types of plants that you need. And if you have any questions on Pacific plants, please give us a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you. At Highland Hill Farm, we offer many specialized services for your landscape needs. For example, if we're in your area and we have our crews near your property, we will come out for free and give you suggestions on what you can use insofar, insofar as landscaping. We specialize in windbreaks and hedges and barriers, of shade trees, flowering trees and shrubs, as well as ground covers like junipers and small shrubs for along walkways such as boxwoods. Our trees that we sell range in size from seedlings transplants to large caliper trees three and four inches in diameter. We also have a lot of unusual trees like paperbark maples. We also carry and stock and grow the copper beech tree. It's a magnificent tree and we have them from, in, from seedlings up to about 12 foot tall. Now, when you want us, just give us a call at 215-651-8329. We also offer free insurance estimates. If you send us pictures of your damaged property, we will get back to you with a free estimate on how much we would charge to replace and amend the property to put it back to its original condition to make you whole. We are, we are available 24 hours a day at our phone number, 215 651 8329. We also have an unusual nursery in that in, at our nursery shop we have lots of things for the kids to look at like fossils, dinosaur bones, we also have meteorites and Indian artifacts. So when the kids come and you bring your kids to get a tour of our nursery there's, there's things for the kids to do as well as for the parents. This is the berry cluster of the Blue Muffin Viburnum. 
It's a arrowwood viburnum that we sell here at Highland Hill Farm. It has a very glossy leaf. The old growth is glossy, but the new growth is exceptionally light colored and glossy. It's very easy to grow. It's called arrowwood viburnum by many people in the trade. It has a white cluster of flowers in the springtime and these blue berries in the fall. This set of plants here are about three to four foot high and will grow to be about ten foot tall and maybe ten foot wide. We're along a real busy road here. This is Route 313. We're in Fountainville, PA. And as you can see, we have a lot of plants, trees, and shrubs here at the nursery, besides the blue muffin. And over here, I'll take you over and I'll show you our double file viburnums. And these are double file viburnums. And again, these viburnums are generally considered to be deer resistant. So if you need a, a nice shrub for the background of your property, it, they make nice naturalized borders and hedges. This, is, this would also be a great choice. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. We do deliver and plant these up and down the East Coast. We have, we have viburnums both potted and bald and bald and burlap from in the field. So give us a call, 215-651-8329.